All right, now we're accelerating a coffee cup. We got a plane that's in level flight, okay? A plane in level flight, moving along at a constant velocity, then accelerates. The question asks, what's the maximum acceleration that the airplane can have without the cup sliding on the table, okay? So if you look at it, the, the coffee cup is just sitting on the table like this, all right? All right, here's the coffee cup. All right, so we've got it. It's just going along, and the plane's going this way, constant velocity. So the, there's no forces acting to the left or right on the, in the x direction on the coffee cup because it's at a constant velocity. Not that there are no forces, but they're all in balance, okay? All the forces are in balance both up and down and left and right if it's in level flight at a constant velocity. Does that make sense? All right, so this is the free body diagram we end up with over here. We got normal force acting upward, mg acting downward. Then if we're going to, ex all right, this is, this is what the free body diagram looks like in the absence of acceleration, okay? But if we're going to accelerate in the positive direction, we have to have a force acting in the positive direction. And that force is friction, okay? That's static friction. But you can imagine that if the plane accelerated at all, if the coffee cup had no friction between the, the coffee cup and the surface of the table, it would just, it would want to stay still, right? Or stay in con at a constant velocity, and the plane would accelerate out from under it. So it would slip backwards relative to the tray table, right? Relative to our frame of reference. All right, so this is the situation we have now. And so it just becomes a matter of solving algebraically. Now, we have net force is equal to MA, true because? It's always true. And this is the A we're solving for, okay? And then the net force we have acting in the X direction, but really it is the overall net force as well, is static friction, okay? And I assume we're given static friction between the coffee cup and the table, Kristen? Um, you're given the mu. I, I'm sorry, yeah, given the mu, the coefficient of static friction is equal to what? 0 0.30. 0. Okay, so now we have MA is equal to mass times acceleration is equal to the static frictional force. So MA is equal to mu times the normal force. Now going back and looking at our free body diagram, what do we have going on in the y direction? Normal force is equal to mg, right? Net force in the y direction is equal to zero, so it's pretty easy to see that normal force and mg have to be equivalent. Okay, they have to balance each other out. So this is a situation that meets all those criteria. We have no acceleration in the y direction. It's a horizontal surface, and those are the only two forces acting. It becomes pretty clear that normal force is equal to mg. So now we have ma is equal to mu times mg, canceling out we get acceleration is equal to mu times g. All right, so if you want numbers for that, that's uh, 0 0.30 times 9.8 meters per second squared is equal to 29.4 meters per second squared, All right? Uh, yeah, that's what I meant. Just an order of magnitude, two mistakes, one day, 2.94 meters per second squared. All right. Okay. Cool. Did that answer your question?